let's try this again and see how we do. Okay, we'll see how we do this time. I'm going to try one more time, one last try, see how it does on this first pack. So again, we are doing a 1991 Topps product archives of the Ultimate 1953 set. You'll see my other two videos that will explain what we're doing here. But without further ado, let's get into the first pack here. The Ultimate 1953 set. All right. All right, we have a Phil Rizzuto here. All right, Phil Rizzuto. You guys can see the cards. Uh, Jim Delsing. Jim Delsing. All right. So Phil Rizzuto, New York Yankees. Jim Delsing, the Detroit Tigers. Vic Wirtz. Oh, well. Faye, Faye Thornbury, Boston Red Sox. Uh, Dave Philly, Philadelphia Athletics. Uh, Dick Brodowski, Boston Red Sox. <laughs> uh, Roger Hornsby, manager of the Cincinnati Reds. Har Harvey Haddix, St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> I put the card up there and it freezes up. Uh, Johnny Lindell, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Roy Face, another one, Pittsburgh's 25 Boston Red, Hot Red Sox, uh, 24 Cincinnati Reds. This is uh, Bill Rigney, the New York Giants. All right. And the last one in this first pack is Ed Matthews, the Boston Braves. Keep freezing up and then unfreezing, so we'll see how far we can get with this one. I kind of set changed my settings to high def, so hopefully we'll get a little bit better pictures on these two. I thought maybe if I did a lower definition, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't hurt as much. But I think the high def, you'll you'll get a better picture quality. We'll see how it works with uh, everything else. We'll see how this video goes. I know the last one was 20 video, 20 minutes of video. It looked like all the frozen video parts get uh, edited out, it looks like. So let's see here. Uh, these do uh, stick and stuff. So so Joe Rossi, Pittsburgh Pirates. I should just twist them a little bit each way, corner to corner, and it does loosen them up a little bit. Ed Juhas, St. Louis Cardinals. All right. Uh, Hoot Evers, the Boston Red Sox. Joseph Black, the Brooklyn Do Dodgers. Joseph Black. Um, Eldon John Rapolsky with the Cardinals. No, it looks like they got that red eye stuff going on there. Let me see if I can cover up that, the lights from my surge suppressor there. There we go. I'll learn. Eddie Pellegrini, the Cincinnati Reds. There we go. Now we don't have that red glare down there. <laughs> John Sane, New York Yankees. Frank Campos. I'll just highlight some of these. Uh, Bobby Young, St. Louis Browns. Uh, Hank Edwards, St. St. Louis Browns. Joe Astroff, the Philadelphia Athletics. Uh, Clint Courtney. Those guys, he's got some pretty neat looking. <laughs> the St. Louis Browns. That's kind of kind of cool there. His glasses and their little emblem there. All right, that was pack number two of 36. We'll see how long we can go on this. So I am live again. If I see somebody jump in, I'll try and uh, give a quick shout-out to you. But um, let's go with pack number three. Here. So far, this stream seems to be a little... Maybe it was because I chose the lower setting, and the, the video just was not good or snappy at all. 
just bending them slightly to loosen them up a little bit. Dale Mitchell, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Gil McDougald, the New York Yankees. Uh, Mickey Vernon, the Washington Senators. Uh, Charles Tuller Bishop Jr., the Philadelphia Athletics. The old days before they moved to the, the West Coast. All right, Harry Simpson, Cleveland Indians. Just kind of showing these because they're kind of neat at first here. Uh, as we progress into the box, I'll just uh, throw out a good hit. Ray Boone, Cleveland Indians. Um, George Spencer, New York Giants. Before they became the San Francisco Giants. Another team that went to California. Henry Foyles, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Carlos Bernier, Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out for jabs. All right. Jack Didimer, Milwaukee Braves. Until they became the Atlanta Braves. A oh, little freeze action on that one. Um, Billy Johnson, St. Louis Cardinals. Billy Johnson, St. Louis Cardinals. And then the last one in this, another one, Dick Grote, Pittsburgh Pirates. You got that little pirate going on there. All right. That was pack number three. No hit yet for the top ones that you can find in these packs. Be kind of nice to get at least one more Mickey Mantle. I've got the two here that I showed in the earlier video and stuff, but uh, I do have actually three Mickey Mouse. But it never hurts to get another one for the set, especially when I'm a Hall of Fame collector. All right. So we got Ed Eralt, the Cincinnati Reds. Alvin Dark, the New York Giants. Joseph Gargiola. I probably said his name wrong. Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Theodore Klusinski. Cincinnati Reds. This dream's going a lot better now. Maybe it's because I changed the settings. All right. Uh, Del Rice, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Salvatore Anthony Yavars, New York Giants. Uh, Bill Glenn, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Ted Wilkes, Cleveland Indians. Freeze up. <laughs> I get too close, I guess. All right, here we go. We got one. Hammer and Hank Aaron. Uh, put that in a in a penny sleeve here, add that to my Aaron collection. Then we got um, Bob Porterfield, Washington Senators. Uh, Ed McGee with the Philadelphia Athletics. And John Mize, New York Yankees. That was pack number four, only 32 more packs to go. We'll see if we can get that that Mickey now or Willie Mays. Got one Hank Aaron so far. I know I'll probably get toward the end and then people will show up seeing that I'm live. But we'll just keep rolling here. Don't worry, I'm not trying to ruin the cards. It's just I'm going to... I try and loosen them up because these are nice, pretty nice, you know, pitcher cards. Freddie Marsh, Chicago White Sox. Uh, Bill Anita Antonello, Brooklyn Dodgers. Some of these names are hard to say. You think, wow, man. 
Fred Heaney, Pittsburgh Pirates. He was our manager back in the day. Pittsburgh Pirates manager back in 1953. All right. We got Willard Nixon. Willard Nixon. Boston Red Sox. Maurice McDermott. Again, Boston Red Sox. Get a player you like, you can always just uh, pause it. There we go. Billy Martin, New York Yankees. All right, we got Jackie Robinson. That's the number one card in this set. Jackie Robinson, Brooklyn Dodgers. All right, there we go. We got our, a checklist card. For 281 to 337. All right, Davy Williams, New York Giants. Uh, Bob Malikin, Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Lou Burdett, Milwaukee Braves. And George Shuba, the Brooklyn Dodgers. All right, on to pack number six. Kind of loosens the, the gloss on these cards sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. Art Schultz. Art Schultz, New York Yankees. All right. Mike Garcia, the Cleveland Indians. Ralph Branca, the Detroit Tigers. Okay, what do we got here? Johnny Pesky, Detroit Tigers. Ray Scarborough, the New York Yankees. Theodore Gray, Detroit Tigers. Uh, Turk Lowe, Chicago Cubs. Oops, two stuck together there. Uh, John Nuxhall, the Cincinnati Reds. All right, this, there's three checklists actually in this set, and that's 335, 336, 337. We got the, the, the 335 card. We had the other checklist. Now we haven't got the middle one yet, but 335, that's the checklist. There's three checklists in this set. That way you know which card you have, and it tells you on there the ones that were never printed. So we have Carl Erskine, Brooklyn Dodgers. And the last one in this pack is Bobby Morgan, Brooklyn Dodgers. Oh, sorry about that. We got one more. Hal Rice, St. Louis Cardinals. In case you wonder where I'm putting these. There we go. I'll just leave the, the stack there. All right. That was six. Pack number seven. Still nobody in the in the live feed here, but that's fine. It doesn't disappoint me. The only reason I'm doing it this way for any time I do a long one, if it lets me do it, is... Um, ow. Now maybe that's the reason why. If I would have started the whole thing in the in the right format, I probably would have did a lot better because it's not freezing up near as much now. All right. So we have Jim Pendleton, Milwaukee Braves. Uh, Don Hoke, Brooklyn Dodgers. Next up on how to lay these back down here. Bill Burton, Milwaukee Braves. 
You know, I just throw in a stack here, blah, blah. John Hetke, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Harry Perkowski, Cincinnati Reds. Um, Hank Sauer, Chicago Cubs, the Cubbies. Oh, no, did I have another Cubby already? <laughs> um, Luke Easter, Cleveland Indians. That's card number two in the set. Uh, Clyde Vollmer, Red Sox. Boston Red Sox. Al Zarilli, the Boston Red Sox again. Paul Richards, Chicago White Sox. Bob Newsom, the Athletics, Philadelphia Athletics. And Les Pedden, Washington Senators. Pack number eight. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. William Kennedy, Boston Red Sox. Sorry, pause factor there. All right, Rocky Kersnich, Chicago White Sox. Kersnich. Duke Snyder, Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Keith Marshall. Oh, that's, no, wait a minute. Oh, Keith, Keith Marshall Thomas, Philadelphia Athletics. Read your cards right, Mom, no? Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Pete Rennell's Washington Senators. Oh, here we go. I've heard of this guy before. You probably have two. Pee Wee Reese, Brooklyn Dodgers. All right, we got a Harry Lowry. Lowry. Um, Forrest Mean, Pittsburgh Pirates. Billy Pierce, Chicago White Sox. Um, Carl Drews, Philadelphia Phillies. For the yeah, the fighting Phillies. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. We got our second hit. Willie Mays. Willie Mays. Oh, Willie Mays, New York Giants. This one high end books for twelve dollars. Willie Mays. I'll show you the back of the card too. So there we go. We got a Willie Mays two, card 244. And that's along with, I'll show, in it, show you in a second here. So that was our second. There's four main hits you can get out of this box. So that's uh, Willie Mays and Hank Aaron. So that's the two, two hits we've got so far. Willie Mays, Hank Aaron. All right. We got two of the four main hits. You know what? I'm just going to put them down there. We're just going to keep going here. The box is getting lower. All right. So we've got two hits so far out of the, out of the packs we opened up. I know we don't have no viewers yet. What are we? Uh, eight, eight packs in. This is pack number nine. Are 
piling up here. All right, so we've got two of the four hits so far in this box, in case you're joining in or tuning. Larry Dolby, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Buford Walker, Brooklyn Dodgers. I'm just going to show you if, if, I, if I get another hit now. All right, Jim Wilson, Milwaukee Braves. You'll see them kind of laying down here. Upside down, I guess. If I do it this way, you can see it while I read the next card. Uh, Charlie Grimm, Milwaukee Braves manager. Uh, Calvin Gray Hogue. Um, Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, Gray Hatton, Cincinnati Reds. Frank Thomas, Pittsburgh Top Pirates, the Chicago White Sox, Vern Stevens, Elmer Vallo, the Philadelphia Athletics, um, Ferris Fain, Philadelphia Athletics, um, Sam Calderon, the New York Giants, uh, Bob Kennedy, don't know if he's related to the Kennedys or not. They played baseball. Uh, Cleveland Indians. Not one of the main hits there. Yep, going much better on my feed now. I think that was probably my own error. I don't know why I chose that lower. Maybe that's why. They were thinking, oh, man, we can't focus in on this guy. How's that? How are we going to do his live feed? And I'm 23 minutes into it now, so I'm satisfied so far. We'll see how this goes. If not, you can see my mistake once, and we'll just go from here. Keep going with this box. This high end, higher end box for me, because I'm a Hall of Famer looking for those. John Lapone, Boston Red Sox. What am I doing that again for? <laughs> um... So, Dwayne Paulette, St. Louis Browns. Okay. Hoot Evers, Boston Red Sox. Harold Neuhauser, Detroit Tigers. All right. We got Harry Bird, the Philadelphia Athletics. Uh, Gil Cohn, the Washington Senators. Frank Smith, the Cincinnati Reds. Monty Irvin, the New York Giants. Del Crandall, the Milwaukee Braves. Ed Uhas, the St. Louis Cardinals. Joe Rossi, the Pittsburgh Pirates. And Paul Richards, the Chicago White Sox. There, that was kind of silly. That way you could read that one if you want to see. Pretty sure you could probably see him. I guess if I sat him there at the edge. Yeah, I could do that. Of course, the stack will start growing, right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to move this so that you'll see when I'm getting lower in the box here. I'll just uh, I'll move these. Only so I can see my progress here. All right. All right. We got one full eight, 16, 24, 32. Yep. 32 packs. They are in plastic, so they should call it cello, cellophane. All right. Here, I'll throw in a hello here. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. I'll do a hello. <laughs> 
keep my texting alive here, right? All right, Jim Dyke, uh, St. Louis Browns. Just add to the stack that way. How's that sound? Uh, Frank Shea, Washington Senators. Uh, Gene Woodling, New York Yankees. Al Rosin, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Bobby Chance, Philadelphia Athletics. Gil Hodges, Brooklyn Dodgers. Probably heard of Gil Hodges before, maybe, if you're, especially if you're a Yankees fan. Vern Law, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Johnny Wirutzek. Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Coy Boyer, St. Louis Cardinals. Ralph Kiner, the Pittsburgh Pirates. And Hoyt Wilm Wilhelm, New York Giants. And Ron Klein, Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, Pittsburgh Pirates, it looks like they have the most in here. They have the most in this set. 28 Pittsburgh Pirates. I think we saw the one manager, so maybe there's 27 players. And All right. John Lapone, Boston Red Sox. Ralph Hook, the New York Yankees. Jim Fridley, the Cleveland Indians. Hal Newhauser, the Detroit Tigers. Harry Bird, the Philadelphia Athletics. Hoot, Hoyt Wilhelm, New York Giants. Gene Conley, Gene Conley, the Milwaukee Braves. Wally Post, the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Granville Hamner, Philadelphia at Phillies. Al Schoendeist, the St. Louis Cardinals. Dixie Walker, the St. Louis Cardinals, and Roy Smalley, Chicago Cubbies. All right. About an eighth of the way through the box, it looks like. Not too far. Almost, almost in two, three eighths of the way through, almost. Uh, all right. Hal Jeffcoat, another cubby. Gene Herminski, Chicago. And three cubbies in a row there. All right. Gene Herman Herminski. Oh, Bob Schultz, Chicago Cubs. Oh, we're hitting cubbies left and right here. Virgil Stalkup, St. Louis Cardinals. Billy Goodman, Boston Red Sox. John Logan, Boston Braves. Ted Gray, the Detroit Tigers. Ray Scarborough, the New York Yankees. Virgil Trucks, the St. Louis Browns. Bob Serve. The New York Yankees. Marty Marion, the St. Louis Browns manager. And Art Schultz, the New York Yankees. All right, now this is the three eighths of the way there now to this box.
right. So we got Clint Courtney, St. Louis Browns catcher. Had him once before already. So that's a double. At least I'm sure we've had others. I just, his eyeglasses caught my eye. Joe Astroff, the Philadelphia Athletics. Hank Edwards, the St. Louis Browns. Robin Roberts of the Fighting Philadelphia Phillies. All right. Uh, Francisco Camp or Frank Campos, Washington Senators. I got to go by the name on the front of the card instead of their full name on the back. John Sane, New York Yankees. Preston Ward, Chicago Cubs. Um, Eddie Pellegrini, Cincinnati Reds. Um, Rip Rip. Rapolsky, St. Louis Cardinals. Joe Black, the Brooklyn Dodgers. George Met Metkovich, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jim Wog, the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, so far so good. We're looking good here. Um, could be maybe an hour, hour and a half by the time we're done. When I'm done, I'll recap the... The better cards that we got out of the set here. Can't remember if we pulled the Yogi Bear yet or not, or uh, a Bob Lehman. But uh, those are some of the, the minor hits when we get down there. All right, let's see. We have Gene Stevens, the Boston Red Sox. Um, Chuck Stobbs, the Washington Senators. Joe Gar Gargiola, Pittsburgh Pirates. Maybe I'll get better every time I look at his name, right? Dizzy Trout, Boston Red Sox. Another one of those fancy-looking glasses. I'll show you my glasses in a minute. Not quite that odd. I got some Oakleys here recently, so I'm adjusting to my new transitional lenses, too. So, um, so Orestes... Minoso, Chicago White Sox. Uh, Bill Hunter, St. Louis Browns. Sid Gordon. Get him separated there. No, not going to separate him. Just the cards. Uh, Sid Gordon, Boston Braves. Ben Wade, the Brooklyn Dodgers. John Attenelli, Boston Braves. Clem Koshorek, Pittsburgh Pirates. I don't know. You guys keep track of the Pirates. See if we get all 28 of them. Um, Ebba St. Clair, Boston Braves. And Les Fusselman, St. Louis Cardinals. Well, we're almost halfway through the box. And we got two of the four good hits out of this box. Two of the four hit, good hits out of this box. Maybe we can pick some more out. We'll see. Keep on still. Still nobody's jumped on here. I'll try and look up here every once in a while. Make sure if anybody's joined me on this live live video. Um, yeah, I know. I'm, I, I'll try and do one in the evenings, too, one of these times. Maybe next, next week I'll try that. Uh, try and get more people to watch. So Jim Hughes, Brooklyn Dodgers. These kings seem like when I did them that way, they popped apart better. Um, Willard Schmidt, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Dick Williams, Brooklyn Dodgers. Um, Leo DeRocher, the New York Giants manager. Okay, we've got uh, Gerald Stanley, St. Louis Cardinals. You can see our stack is slowly growing here. All right. Sibby Sista, Boston Braves. Joe Dobson, Chicago White Sox. Mitt Bowling, Boston Red Sox. Irv Norin, New York Yankees. Dick Coco, St. Louis Browns. There we go, one of the minor hits. That's a minor hit. Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra, New York Yankees. I'll just set him aside over here, Yogi Berra. All right, Gil Hodges, 
Brooklyn Dodgers. That's another one of the, the minor hits. Gil Hodges. Let's see if I set them there. Bob Lehman. Oh, Bob Lehman is a... We did hit a, a, another minor a little while back. We'll probably hit another. Lehman. All right. And then the other one is, uh, of course, Casey Stengel. Casey Stengel is a minor hit. Sorry, I got my cheat sheet up there. All right. Next, uh, last first half of the box. Oops, I didn't think that would stand up there. It'll keep falling. It's okay. Never mind. You can see that lonely only in the first half of the box here. All right. Squeeze it in case we get some of the other ones to fit in there. On the back sheet here. Oh, I'll do it later. All right. Roy Smalley, Chicago Cubs. All right. Took a brief intermission there. Willie Miranda, St. Louis Browns. Not football team, the Browns, but when they used to be St. Louis Browns. Hal Brown, the Boston Red Sox. Mickey Grasso, Washington Senators. Oh, man. They didn't do that much in the day. Oh, he was a catcher. That's why. That's why he has hat to the back there. Before they had the big, nice. Wally Post, Cincinnati Reds. All right. Sherman Lawler, Chicago White Sox. Jim Hearns, New York Giants. Danny O'Connell, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Sal Magley, the New York Giants. Connie Ryan of the Fighting Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Murray Wall, the Milwaukee Braves. And Vern Benson, the St. Louis Cardinals. Last pack of the first half of the box. We're just almost at the 40 minute mark here. That's okay. Not freezing up as much as I was before. Maybe it was just the, the wrong time. About noontime here. People are on their lunch breaks. That's what it is. They're not on the internet as much right now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was talking bad about uh, Frontier, right? All right. Let's keep going here. Last pack of the first half. Joe Coleman, Philadelphia Athletics. Um, Bill Whirl, Whirl, Boston Red Sox. Um, Bill Norman, St. Louis Browns. Uh, Sid Hudson, Boston Red Sox. Uh, uh, Billy Goodman, Boston Red Sox. Heck, I turned you that way more. <laughs> um, Gus Zerniel, Philadelphia Athletics. Um, Bucky Harris, Washington Senators manager. Johnny Klippenstein, Klippenstein, Chicago Cubbies. Jim Gillian, Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Gus Bell, Cincinnati Reds. Brad Addis, Chicago Cubbies. And Roy McMillan, Cincinnati Reds. Well, that tops it off for the for the first half there. Again, we had uh, two. I know we have three. I know um, uh, we had a, a Bob Lehman. Bob Lemon. Bob Lehman, yes. We've got one of him. We've got a Willie Mays and a Hank Aaron. Uh, just do a real quick one. Show those two here. That was the first half of the box. Oh, no, man. Now I'm freezing up. Okay. Got too close. All right. Moving too fast. There we go. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays. And Gil Hodges, Yogi Berra. We got two of the major, two of the minor hits. And let me see. Let me just. Uh, all 
All right. So let's start breaking into this second second half of this box now. 40 minutes. Eh, maybe I'll be about an hour and a half on this this my better part of the live stream. You'll see my first two parts. Those those are the intros. When I was getting frustrated, so I had to look and look, and then I said, "Oh, I don't have this on high def. Let me switch it back." Probably because I took my camera off. I had to reset it. I tried to see if I could get it to work on my my um, iMac upstairs, but that wouldn't work. I have to be on a real PC. So Carl Swat Swatsky, Chicago Cubs. Start laying these back down on the stack here. Uh, so we got uh, Hank Bauer, New York Yankees. We got John Podres, Podres, Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Walter Dressen, the Brooklyn Dodgers manager. Um, we got Eddie Miskus, Chicago Cubbies. Howard Paulette, Howie Paulette, the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, there we go. We got the third checklist. We got the third checklist for this set. Again, like I said, that it'll it it'll, it says there's 337 cards in the complete set, but four of them were never produced. But two do have uh, pictures available if you if you look up on Beckett and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's our third checklist. So we did get all three checklists. I have all three in my set that I've got going, so that's an extra set of checklists. So in case somebody would be looking for that, you can let me know, and I can post it on my eBay site. All right. So let's see. For the big ones here, we're looking for, um, looks like our Mickey Mantle and our Ted Williams is the, is the two main ones. Of course, the Mickey Mantle is the, the gem of the set. So let's finish off this pack here. First pack into the second half. Um, Harry Dorish, Chicago White Sox. Uh, Billy Hoft, the Detroit Tigers. Billy Pierce, Chicago White Sox. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Save that one for just a second here. So we got Sammy White of the, the Boston Red Sox. And yes, we did get another hit. We got another hit here. This is the awesomest awesome when you get this box. This is the top hit of the box. This is my favorite. If you listened to my video earlier, I got three of them. Now I've got four. Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle. See if I can get a good shot of that for there for you. Mickey Mantle. Card number 82 in this set. Beckett High is 20. If I did decide to send some of mine in to get them graded, maybe they'd be worth a little bit more. But Mickey Mantle. Show you the back of the card. Being careful here. Back of the card. I know I shouldn't hold it on the corner. That is so cool. I like that. Come on, why do I like that so much, even though it's not an original Mickey Mantle? I like that. I just want to go over this one just a little bit. I like I like reading. You ever take time and not only like the cards, but read what's on them? So tops number 82, Mickey Charles Mantle. Hometown, Comerica, Oklahoma. Born October 20th, 1931. Spavinawa, Spavino, Oklahoma. Height 5'11", weight 185, bats right and left. Yes, he was a switch hitter, of course. Throws right. Many baseball experts say that switch hitting Mickey is the greatest baseball prospect they've ever seen. He certainly showed why in 1952, finishing second in the American League in doubles and slugging, 530. In 52, Mickey also set a new Yankee record and led the league with 111 strikeouts. He broke in as a shortstop in 1949, hit 383 for Joplin in 50, and split the 51 season between the Yankees and Kansas City. 
They've got all his stats here. Here's the dugout quiz on the back of his card. What is the record for most hits in a season in the American League? Well, there's nobody live here to be able to try and answer that dugout quiz question. But the answer is, let me turn it over. George Sisler had 257 in 1920. So there we go. We got the top hit in this box. The only one we're missing now is Ted Williams. And we'll have all four of the big hits in this archive set. Okay. Sorry. That just got me all excited. <laughs> all right. Let's continue on here. Oh, what am I doing that for? Let's take it. All right. Sorry. Just had to take a little extra time for Mickey Mantle there. That's my tribute for today, Hall of Fame Friday, for Mickey Mantle, one of the greats. Not the only one, but one of the greats, I think. All right. Eddie Robinson, Chicago White Sox. Back to normal again. Eddie Lopat, New York Yankees. So we need three. We need to get another Lehman if we do. I know I have another one in the set there already in the stack. I forgot to pull them out. And a Jack, Jackie Robinson. I can't remember if I got a Jackie Robinson already or not. Okay, but we got three of the top four. Ted Lepico, Boston Red Sox. Um, Steve O'Neill, the fighting Philadelphia Phillies, the manager for the Phillies. Another checklist. We already got three, all three checklists. George Kell, Boston Red Sox. Um, Mike Clark, St. Louis. Cardinals, um, Clem, Labine, Brooklyn Dodgers, Dutch Leonard, Chicago Cubs, Stu Miller, St. Louis Cardinals, um, Fred Haney, Pittsburgh Pirates, manager again. Um, whoa, wait a minute. I might have to check into this one. Oh, maybe when they did the reprint. That is so weird. Oh, 253 and... Oh, so they must have had... This is 254. Preacher... I'm sorry, I had to pause on that one. Preacher Row. If you remember my earlier video and stuff, maybe that's why they did that. So, of course, uh, Billy Lowe's, number 174, they didn't get authorization to be able to use that card. But there was um, three cards, 253, Preacher Row, 274, and 261. Those three cards do not exist. I'll have to look on that checklist again. Because, um, or on Beckett to make sure, because... Maybe that's why they had an error and didn't print both of Preacher Rowe's cards. I'll have to investigate this one more. But Preacher Rowe, card number 253, does not exist. I guess that's because Elwin Charles Rowe, or Preacher Rowe, this one is card number 254. Uh, i got to do more research into this 1953 series now. Especially the original 1953 set instead of the uh, archive. I want to set that one aside so I can do a little bit more research on that. All right, I'm going to set that right there for now. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, 
can't remember if Freak the Rose in the Hall of Fame. It's not one of them common ones that are everybody probably collects and stuff. But just I thought it was neat, and I gotta I gotta research too on why they call him Preacher Earl. Maybe he was a preacher and he played baseball. <laughs> you never know, all right. Why else would they call him and be known as a Brooklyn Dodgers as Preacher Earl if he didn't preach? All right, Eleanor Engel, shortstop. Eleanor Engel. Oh, wow. Here's some little trivia here. Eleanor Engel. I don't think I have one of these already. That's why I didn't know. Eleanor Engel. She was a, a shortstop. Let me read the back of her card real quick. Eleanor Engel, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. She was born January 2nd, 1926 in Delmont, New Jersey. In June of 1952, national attention was focused on the miners with an announcement by the Harrisburg Interstate League Club that it planned to sign a female player. The central figure was a Mrs. Eleanor Engel a 26-year-old, 128-pound stenographer. She worked out at shortstop with the club, but on June 21, 1952, organized baseball officially barred all female performers from playing professional baseball. Wow unknown facts maybe but maybe a true baseball player from that time era probably knew all about Eleanor Engel another interesting one there I'm gonna throw her aside here as as next to preacher row there goes Eleanor Engel wow sorry <laughs> this video is gonna be longer than I thought Tom Morgan New York Yankees I wonder if that's the only female and then 1953 set oh <laughs> uh connie moreno oh this one's got a ding on the corner probably got where there was that ding in the box connie moreno washington senators all right cliff fainan st louis rounds oh wait a minute that's more than one card there i can feel the thickness there these are just all the same size ali reynolds new york yankees uh Jim Hegan, Cleveland Indians. Mike Sandlock, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Clarence Publin, uh, the Cincinnati Reds. Toby Atwell, Chicago Cubs. Uh, Andy Seminick, Cincinnati Reds. Paul Lapalm. La La I'm going to say Paul Lapalm. Pittsburgh Pirates, and Hank Thompson, New York Giants. All right. About halfway done. First three quarters of the box. <laughs> I got another Eleanor Engel. I didn't even know she was in this set. Of course, I didn't read all the names. I just went through the cards that I have. So now I have two of her. Two of her. All right. So we've got Ken Heinzelman, Philadelphia, fighting Philadelphia Phillies. As if they got it on her. Fighting Phillies. Fighting Phillies. All right. Um, Jim Greengrass, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Ted Williams. Ted Williams. We got all four hits now. There's Ted Williams. Ted Williams. He's the bottom end. He's a $10 card. That's the Ted Williams card. There we go. 
me get a, a sleeve to put that in for now. There we go. We have got all four of our hits now. Clean hits. I know I saw, um, and maybe I'll just try and grab it out if I don't pull another one. Right, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. Um, yeah, Bob Lehman and uh, Ted Williams. So we, we're look, looking for, I know I've got a Lehman. Uh, I think we had one or two of them. And then uh, Yogi Berra. I know we got Yogi Berra. We got Gil Hodges. Bob Lehman. Uh, come on, Lehman. Oh, and Casey Stengel. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Now you saw my cheat sheet. There we go. All right. Uh, Wayne Terwillinger, Washington Senators. Carl Sch Scheib, Philadelphia Athletics. Um. Here's Bob Feller, all right, Cleveland Indians, uh, Earl Harris, St. Louis Browns, Earl Wynn, hey, Earl Wynn, Cleveland Indians, um, Ken Reffensberger, Cincinnati Reds, oh, here you go, some of you people probably know this one, Roy Campanella. Roy Campanella, Brooklyn Dodgers. And Ed O'Brien, Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, get close to the hour mark here. For three fourths of the box. Almost getting closer to three fourths of the box. Takes a little while too when they're sticking together. I think when I waggle them like this, it kind of moves them, separates them too. So Henry Sauer, Chicago Cubs. Uh, Dick Grote, Pittsburgh Pirates. Paul Richard, Chicago White Sox. Uh, Jackie Dittmer. Milwaukee Braves, um, Carlos Bernier, the Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, Richie Ashburn, fighting Philadelphia Phillies, Richie Ashburn, I remember hearing about him growing up, I was a Philadelphia Philly fan, I lived in New Jersey through high school, all the way till high school, and then I transplanted myself out to Washington State, Ray Boone, Cleveland Indians, Harry Simpson, Cleveland Indians. J.W. Porter, the Detroit Tigers. Roy Seavers, the St. Louis Browns. Gil McDoodle, Douglas. Um, Dale Mitchell, Cleveland Indians. Looks like my screen was flashing and stuff. Was it warning me if what, I can't go over an hour now, maybe, or something? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll get through this break. I'm hoping. All right. I think that's the kit. Key, wiggle. Maybe instead of going corner to corner, I'll just try and do the wiggle. <laughs> try and do the wiggle. Mike Sandlock, Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, Mickey Vernon, Washington Senators. Jim Pendleton, Milwaukee Braves. Try and speed these up a little bit. Bill Bruton, Milwaukee Braves. Um, John Hetke, Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, Carl Erskine. Carl Erskine, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, we just went over the hour mark. Luke Easter, Cleveland Indians. Clyde Vollmer, uh, Boston Red Sox. Morris Martin, Philadelphia Phillies. Philadelphia Athletics. Oh, that's when Philly had two teams. Tommy Byrne, Chicago White Sox. Bobo Newsom, 
Philadelphia Athletics, and Les Pettin, Washington Senators. All right, we're getting closer here. Oh, let's squash these guys over here. Actually, you know what? Let me move them out of the way for now so I don't squash them. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to, here, let me just take a quick break here and lower this stack before I bump it and knock them all over the place. <laughs> okay, don't mind me for my giggling and carry on. At least when I'm doing this, I'm not saying, you probably hear it in my, vid my other videos, stuff, stuff, yeah, I get accused of saying stuff too much. Sorry. Can't help it. Sometimes I get stuck on stuff. I guess I got, should do the corner to corner and then the, the wiggle. All right. So we got Dixie Howe, uh, Hank Thompson, New York Giants, um, Paul LaPalm, Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, Andy Semnick. Cincinnati Reds, uh, Harvey Kuhn, Detroit Tigers, um, uh, Jim Hegan, Cleveland Indians, Clarence Pud Bylan, Cincinnati Reds, Cliff Fannin, St. Louis Browns, Allie Reynolds, New York Yankees, Connie Moreno, Washington Senators. Here's the fight in Philadelphia Phillies. Kurt Simmons, Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Johnny Groth, St. Louis Browns. All right, getting closer. Here's the last pack for the first three quarters of the box. Let's show you. I my wrappers here. Let's sell it. Doesn't it doesn't lay flat too easy? I have to see if I can find that lemon. If so, then we're only one off from. We got lemon and Jackie Robinson. No, I had a Jackie Robinson. I don't know why I didn't set that aside. Um, Ellis Kinder, Boston Red Sox. Bob Kane, St. Louis Browns. Bob Hooper, Cleveland Indians. Oh, that's two there. Um, Bob Oldis, Washington Senators. Melvin Parnell, Mel Parnell, Boston Red Sox. Um, Bubba Church, Bubba Church, Cincinnati Reds. Joe Attic, Milwaukee Braves. Phil Cavaretta. Chicago Cubs, Bob Adams, Cincinnati Reds, Bob Hoffman, New York Giants, John Rutherford, Brooklyn Dodgers, and Carl Ferrillo, Brooklyn Dodgers. All right, last pack for the first three quarters of the box. I don't know, for me, this has been really fun. When I got the other ones uh, for this set, I got them in a box in an order that I got from somebody. I don't know. I don't think they knew what they had. It was somebody from back east, and the elderly lady was selling her kids cards. I guess the son or whatever said... You can go ahead and sell them on eBay, Grandma. And since that's what you're doing as a sideline, she mostly sold like just different odds and ends and knickknacks and stuff. But I had a good box of probably about 400 of these cards. I don't, well, I, I guess they could have bought them in packs in the back in the day, um, 90 in the 90s when this person that was collecting probably. I thought that was a so. 
Here we go. Eddie Robinson, Chicago White Sox. Just thought I'd throw that out there, how I got my my first ones in this series. Ed Lopet, New York Yankees. Bought it probably about two years ago when I was started collecting more on the side, but not having time to go through. And I it all just piled up because I knew I was going to be retiring in two years and I wanted something to do in retirement. So Ted Lepico, Lepcio, Boston Red Sox. Um, Eddie Kazak, Detroit Tigers. Um, Andy Carey, New York Yankees. Jimmy Dykes, Philadelphia Athletics. Clem Labine, Brooklyn. Brooklyn Dodgers, Dutch Leonard, Chicago Cubs, Stu Miller, St. Louis Cardinals, Willie Jones, Fighting Philadelphia Phillies. Preacher Row, I got another Preacher Row, now I got two Preacher Rows. Here we go, here we go, Bob Lehman. I knew I had one, I got a couple more in the stack, farther down here. But Bob Lehman, there we go, that's one of our minor hits. Now we're only looking for one. One more of the minor hits. These are the miners. These are just special ones. Uh, the lady that tried to go in baseball and then they outlawed women from coming into professional baseball. So uh, here we go. We're starting the last fourth of the box now. Last fourth of the box. And all we're doing is we're looking for one more, one more last one. And that would be Jackie Robinson if we could find him. I'm almost sure I pulled one earlier, but I forgot to set it aside. At the time, I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to set aside the, the four big hits so I can recap them. But no, I'm going to re recap all eight and the, the two sideline ones here. The reason for that one is, you know, if you do research on the set, you'll find information about Preacher Row. I just got to do a little bit more on him maybe and then see what's going on all right so continuing on we got larry doby cleveland indians we've got bob hooper cleveland indians fred hutchinson detroit tigers i'm gonna try and speed up these last packs just to try and get the final hit uh bob i'm gonna read them all though <laughs> sorry this is just so much fun for me I'm trying to pronounce all their names too so uh, Mel Parnell, Boston Red Sox. Um, Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford. There we go. I might remember Whitey Ford. Uh, the Yankees. Uh, Dixie Howell, Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Bubba Church. Uh, Cincinnati Reds. Um, probably, probably that. <laughs> that Jackie Robinson that's in there is probably going to be the only one, and I'd have to try and dig it out. But if it's not there, I know I have one in my collection. So um, Howie Judson, Bob uh, Cincinnati Reds, Bob Adams Cincinnati Reds, Bob Hoffman, uh, New York Giants, and John Rutherford, Brooklyn Dodgers. Right, next pack. Uh, I'll just do a minor shout out. I did. This is just uh, just a minor shout out while I'm breaking these in between packs, and I'll continue as I open up each next. Uh, the next packs and stuff but uh i did start a patreon channel did start a patreon channel and actually I, it surprised me i didn't do any advertising i just figured i'll have it all set up get it so it's good to go and then uh when i want to start promoting it more I'll, I'll promote it i was hoping to get a lot more views on youtube maybe quicker maybe after somebody watches this you'll see um I do have a schedule. You'll see that on one of my other videos if you go back. If you stumble on, upon this channel or if you pop in live before I do finish, um, I'll give a little bit of shout out to finish it up, but I won't belabor the video too awful long. But yeah, um, I'll give you a little bit more information a little bit. Let me go, go through this pack. John Riddle, St. Louis Cardinals. 
Uh, Monty Irvin, New York Giants. Frank Smith, Cincinnati Reds. Um, Hal Rich, St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Dusty Rhodes, New York Giants. Warren Spahn, Hall of Famer. Cool. There we go. Uh, Billy, oh, sorry, Boston Braves. Billy Hitchcock. Is it Hitchcock? Yeah, just like uh, <laughs> Billy Hitchcock, Philadelphia Athletics. Wes Westrom, New York Giants. Ned Garver, Detroit Tigers. Al Sima, Washington Senators. Um, oh, my word. I didn't know this one was in here. I didn't remember. I didn't read all the checklist and stuff, but that is nice. So we have a double, double duty. One of them, <laughs> Al Simmons. We got Al Simmons and Dizzy Dean. There we go. Dizzy Dean and Al Simmons. That's different. All right. So Al was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1953. He was a 300 hitter, 11 consecutive seasons, uh, 24 to 34, um, topped by 392 batting average in 1927. Uh, American League led the American League in batting in 1930 and in 1931. He played with the A's in the 29, 30, and 31 World Series and with the Reds in the 39 Classic. I'm going to set that one aside there. All right, and Jackie Jensen. Jackie Jensen with the Washington Senators. All right. Any closer here? What do we got? Uh, two, four, six packs left after this one. We're getting closer to the end here. Okay. I don't think I have that one already. No, I do. Dizzy Dean and Al Simmons. That's what I call a, a, a dual Hall of Famer. I think, uh, yeah, in my different Hall of Fame collection, I've got uh, a bunch of duels. I only put them in a dual Hall of Famer section if they are both Hall of Famers. And then uh, I think I have one or two triples, and I have a couple quads. So uh, those are nice little cards. Because these are all little cards. John O'Brien, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Joe Nuxhall, Cincinnati Reds. Turk Lone, L-O-W-N, Chicago Cubs. Joe Ross, Pittsburgh Pirates. Wes Westrum, New York Giants. I think we got almost the stacks evened off here. We do a middle one. Del Crandall, Milwaukee Braves. Bob Boyd, Chicago White Sox, Dusty Rhodes, New York Giants, Joe Collins, um, New York Yankees, Walt Droppo, Detroit Tigers, Al Lopez, thought that might have been double for a second, Al Lopez, Cleveland Indians, and John Riddle, John Riddle with the Cardinals. Riddling his way through, not riddling, <laughs> that didn't sound right, did it? I don't know, they didn't even have Ritalin in those days. John Ritalin. Ritalin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting silly now. Didn't have lunch. Didn't have lunch yet. It's been an interesting morning. Getting ready for a live production. It's like going watching an hour, hour and a half long movie. Bob Lemon. There we go. We got another Bob Lemon. Lemon, Lehman, Lehman. Frank Shea, Washington Senators. Sorry, I'm rambling again. 
Johnny Groff, St. Louis Browns. Billy Pierce. Oh, come on, it's a double. I can feel it. Uh, Chicago White Sox. Tom Morgan, New York Yankees. I like to watch different videos from the, P the channels I subscribe to while I'm working upstairs in my separation room and organization room for my shop. So, uh, yeah. Allie Reynolds, New York Yankees. Uh, you can do that while you're, you know, and if something grabs your eye, you just pause the video, look over, and rewind. Or That's what's nice about once these are up in YouTube. You can watch them anytime, rewatch them, add, add them to your favorites. Joe Nuxall, Cincinnati Reds. John O'Brien, Pittsburgh Pirates. Warren Spahn again. Just had one of him a little while ago. Boston Braves. Bobby Morgan. And Hal Rice. All right, we're getting down here. I know I had a Brooks Robinson. Uh, I'll, I'll try and search for it quick while we're done here. If I don't find it, I, don't want, I really don't want to rush. But you know what? I can always... Do a separate recap. No, I don't know if I want to do that. Then they wouldn't watch these videos if they saw the recap of how it ended. You know what? I shoot myself for not separating it out. But I'm hoping I'll pull one in one of these last sets here. Would be nice to get another Jackie Robinson. All right. So we've got Cliff Feynman, uh, St. Louis Browns. Uh, Jim Hegan, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Ted Williams. Ted Williams. We got our second Ted Williams. Cool. I would have rather got another Mickey Mantle, but that's fine. Another Ted Williams. That's two Ted Williams in this box. That's like the third tier of the high hits. You got uh, Mickey Mantle's a $20 card. Uh, Willie Mays, a uh, $12 card. Hank Aaron's a 10 Ted Williams is a 10 Yogi Berra is a $250. Bob Lehman's $1.25, along with Gil Hodges, $1.25, and Casey Stengel. Casey Stengel. That's the one we don't have. He's, he's a manager. All right. Sorry about that interruption. I'm getting a big hit. Uh, Harry Dorish. Harry Dorish, Chicago. Um, why, thanks. I see somebody came and joined me here. I love the look of those cards. Yes, I do too. They are awesome. I know I could just talk to you, and I just spelt that wrong, but there, <laughs> nice to see someone here. <laughs> so Gus Narros, Boston Red Sox, uh, Lawrence Doby, Cleveland Indians, Monty Irvin, the New York Giants, uh, Vern Bickford, Boston Braves. Uh, maybe you just hopped on and Hop off. Are you still there with me, Supervisor Turkey? Uh, Howie Paulette, Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Harvey Kuhn, Detroit Tigers. Oh, that's a double. Right, let me pull these apart. Chuck Dressen, Brooklyn Dodgers. John Podres, Brooklyn Dodgers. He probably just jumped on and jumped off. Wonder what the live feed was. That's okay. I'm almost to the end of the break here. And this will, I, next time I'll like schedule my live feeds for like a week ahead of time. That way people can uh, be reminded. And if they can make it, they can make it. If not, that's fine. I uh, put a like on there. I think. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, right, I'm doing this to kind of loosen them up. They're all sticking together and stuff. Well, they've been in the box from since 1991. Chuck Stobbs, Washington Senators. Um, Bob Miller, New York Yankees. Uh, come on. 
Okay, there we go. Charles Grimm, Milwaukee Braves. Manager. Uh, Aresto Miss Minoso, Chicago White Sox. Uh, Bill Hunter, Browns. Fred Hatfield, Detroit Tigers. Paul Minner, Chicago Cubs. Uh-oh. They're uh, fighting. Philadelphia Phillies, Smokey Burgess. Sid Gordon, the Boston Braves. Phil Cavaretti, Chicago Cubs. John Antonelli, Boston Braves. And Clem Kashurik, Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Jabs. No, they're not here. I don't know if he's doing a fan mail Friday today or not. I guess we'll find out later. Sometimes I'll just do that and just uh, post a video. And I'll just show you a quick shot too when I'm done here of the all the, the packs. This uh, 32 packs in this box. Well, thanks, Supervisor Turkey, for taking a look. I think he's one of my subscribers. I hope. If not, I hope he goes back and subscribes to my channel. Um, here we go. Uh, well, my wife probably. So Dick Williams, Brooklyn Dodgers. Dick Williams, who are we looking for? Casey, oh, Casey Stangles. Casey Stangles. How did I say Jackie Robinson? No, Jackie Robinson is a 75 center, but, yeah, it would be nice. I know I pulled the Jackie Robinson. That's right. He was the number one card, and I pulled the number two card. I'm trying to remember the number two now. That's right. So we're just looking for Casey Stengel for the main, main, main hits. George Crow, Boston Braves, Gerald Stanley, Cardinals, uh, Sibby, Sibby Sisti, Boston Braves, uh, Carl Ferrillo, Brooklyn Dodgers. Ebba St. Clair, the Boston Braves. Don Colloway, Philadelphia Athletics. Joe Dobson, Chicago White Sox. Uh-oh, there we go. Got another checklist. I think we got one full set, and this is two out of three of a second set. Um... Irv Norin, the New York Yankees, uh, Dick Cohos, the St. Louis Browns, and Lou Burdett, the Milwaukee Braves. All right, down to our last two packs. One pack to go after this one. Oh, well, yeah, close to my hour and a half after my 20 minutes. I think it must have automatically edited out the... The frozen frames on those first two videos are on here. Well, I'll keep them on there. They're not the best of quality. I had the wrong video setting when I first started, but then it seems like now I know why you do the high def. It seems like you get uh, they get better quality videos, so that's what they'd rather have on YouTube. And I don't, but maybe YouTube has part of that. Here, I was blaming Comcast, not Comcast, Frontier, thinking I should switch to Comcast. I'm going to stick with what I have for now, but we'll see. So, Bill Rigney, New York Giants. Uh, Hal Brown, Boston Red Sox. Nikki Grasso, Washington Senators. Uh, Don Lund, the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Roger Hornsby, the manager of the Cincinnati Reds. Who am I looking for again? Oh, yeah, Casey Stengel. Casey had the bat. <laughs> Uh, Joe Coleman, Philadelphia Athletics. Willard Schmidt, St. Louis Cardinals. Bob Lehman. Oh, no, we got another Bob Lehman. We got three of his cards now. All right. Uh, Cleveland Indians. Uh, Jim Hearn, New York Giants. Danny O'Connell, Pittsburgh Pirates. Solly Hemus, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Hoot Evers, Boston Red Sox. And now the time has come. We're almost there to the end. I know, I'm acting silly. I've never done something like this for an hour and a half. But it has been fun. 
but all good fun things come to uh just loosen that plastic up a little bit more all right Okay, let's go with the, this is the last card for the last, last pack. Ralph Branca, Detroit Tigers. I'll go like this for the last set just to prolong the inevitable end. Johnny Pesky, Detroit Tigers. Seems like it freezes when I get too close there. It's like, what are you doing, dude? I'm talking to myself now. <laughs> uh, Johnny Klippenstein, Chicago Cubbies. I'll just hold it up a little farther away. Uh, Bob Del Greco. Bob Del Greco. What a look on his face. Pittsburgh Pirates. You see that? Like, what are you doing, my pitcher? Um, Vern Benson, St. Louis Cardinals. Murray Wall, Milwaukee Braves. I am throwing them all down the wrong way. I'm going to have those guards facing the wrong way. Sorry. Man. Phil Rizzuto, the New York Yankees. Bucky Harris, the manager for the Washington S Senators. I don't know. I guess that uh, Joe DiMaggio have a brother? This must have been his brother. Oh, there's three. Three DiMaggio's. Well, I know one. I know this one now. <laughs> Dom DiMaggio. All right. Boston Red Sox. Sid Hudson. The Boston Red Sox. And next to last, Bill Harmon. St. Louis Browns. And... Bill Worley, the Boston Red Sox, is our last card in the box. Well, this has been fun. I'm pretty sure, I, th I think I might have pulled the Casey Stangle. But um, this has been fun. This has been real. I'll uh, recap my hits in just a second here. But, uh, yeah, this was, this was fun. Hopefully you'll uh, like my videos. This is my longest one yet, hour and a half, uh, just for a single break. But it's, this is the, the history that I like. Of course, I can't afford none of those old cards. Like, there's a $500,000 card on the Internet. Um, I've got it. I'll give a shout out on my next video. But, uh, yeah, wow. Well, that would be a nice card to have, but $500,000, I can't afford that. Somebody might buy it, but uh, this has been fun. Uh, opening up uh, 1991 Topps Archives, the ultimate 1953 set. Uh, it's been fun. Let me just uh, show you the, the packs pile here. There you go, the empty packs. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you that real quick. All right. And then um, I'll hop in the video here. Partially at least. So, yeah. So, this has been fun. Let me just recap real quick. Uh, the Mickey Mantle, the Willie Mays, the Hank Aaron, and the Ted Williams. So, this was our big hits. We got... Um, Mickey Mantle. We did get the Mickey Mantle. That's the $20 card. High-end Beckett. If I get it graded, it might be worth more than that. Or, you know, all these cards are in pretty good shape. There might be a Nick here and there. Um, I, we pulled a Willie Mays. Willie Mays is the $12 card. And then I got um, a Hank Aaron. We got the Hank Aaron. And... I did get the two of the ten dollar uh, Ted Williams. Ted Williams, I got two of them here. <laughs> I'll hold them side by side here. The Ted Williams, two of those. All right, that's the main hits. 
and then uh, put those in there so they don't get damaged. And then uh, for the side note, I know we had, I'm pretty sure we did have a, the Casey Stangle manager card. Um, but we did pull the, the minor, what I call the minor hits, the ones that are lesser value in this set, but a Yogi Berra. The Gil Hodges. And we got three. Of the Bell, Bill Lehman. The Bill Lehmans. We pulled three of these. I'll get those sleeved up later too. Put them in here for now. And then, uh, probably want to, okay, Preacher Joe. Who's he? Preacher Joe. I got two of him. Uh, if you saw the recap, or if you didn't, you can go back in my first two videos when I started live. But uh, Preacher Joe, uh, one of his cards did not exist in the set um and that was uh 253 yeah 253 these two are 254 though so i'll have to find out the story behind that one and then we pulled uh two of these eleanor angle you're thinking eleanor angle yes she is sitting there she probably has cool, has cool odds on or something. But, uh, yeah, do research on her, Eleanor Engel, back in 1952, and you'll find out her story. And then this is what I call Hall of Fame double card. Hall of Fame double card, Dizzy Dean and Al Simmons, both Hall of Famers. Um, yeah. So check into that, and you'll see the story behind those two but yeah in my hall of fame collection i've got uh doubles are kind of common when you have doubles you might have double player like a new player of today and then a hall of famer um what i do is i put that in the hall of famer sort category for that hall of famer if, it, if they're both hall of famers they go in a separate section of double hall of famers i do have some triple hall of famers and quad hall of famers those are kind of cool cards, too. But, yeah. So these were just some interesting hits I just thought I'd discuss and go over there. So I thank you for spending time with me. Or not spending time. Only only one person came on during the live, and that was Supervisor Turkey. Supervisor Turkey, I'm pretty sure I'm sub to you. But if not, I will sub you. And, yes, um... I will do that. So this is, uh, oh yeah. And then in other videos, I'll talk about my Patreon channel. You can try and look me up. You can go to, uh, on uh, Facebook. If, you, if you're if you on Facebook, I do have uh, a link to my uh, store from my Facebook page called the Hall of Fame Veterans Sports Cards and Collectibles. You'll find that on Facebook as a page. Please like my page there and you'll see a link where you can click over to my eBay store. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, on my page, you can post different things. You can ask me questions. If there's anything that you saw in here that tickles your fancy and stuff, as long as they're extras from my set, when I go through and combine things, uh, I don't mind listing a card on eBay so you can buy something from me. Um, but yeah, just uh, check out my Patreon channel if you can find it. Same thing, Hall of Fame veterans, sports cards, and collectibles. Um, or you can just search uh, my name, Donald Blomdahl. But um, yeah, Jabs was the one that got me started in these videos. I want to do a shout out for him. I became a Patreon member for him. Got my first package the other day from him. Posted that video. And then uh, my first Patreon uh, person that signed in to my Patreon. I, this came out of the blue. And it was a, a shout. This is a shout out for comfort cards. Comfort cards. I thank you for got, for becoming my first Patreon customer. I'll be getting that box ready this next week for you, so it'll go out. Uh, and when I get my first payments, um, but yeah, 
it's been really fun, really interesting learning how to do this stuff through trial and error. But I'm going to sign off for now. Just a quick highlight here again. I am a Seattle Mariner fan. These are the Hall of Fame members from the Mariners that are on the chair here. Of course, Pat Gillick, uh, Rich or Goose Gossage. He was only with us for one year. That was an amazing year. Um, yeah, then uh, Ken Griffey Jr., of course, longtime Mariner. Went to the Reds for a little while. Came back, retired as a Mariner. Dick Williams. Uh, Ricky Henderson was here for a year. 2000, um, Gaylord Perry, and then Randy Johnson. And of course, they got to make a new shirt now, Edgar Martinez. And then, of course, in 2024, will be Ichiro. Ichiro. He uh, left the Mariners after a while, went to a couple other teams, came back and retired as a Mariner in Japan, in this country where he came from. But everybody, I think, is looking forward to Ichiro being in the Hall of Fame in 20. 24. So this is just one final goodbye. I enjoyed doing all this fun stuff. Now it's time for me to clean up my mess, get things organized, and get on with my day. We'll see y'all later. Take care and have a wonderful and blessed day. This is Don Baumdahl signing out for now. Until next time.